During this video, I'm gonna be trying five different coffees for you. Uh, these were all mailed to me from Brock in Nebraska. Thank you very much, Brock. Thank you for the, the coffee mug. I love it, it's huge. And uh, for all the coffees, this is really cool. These are um, all from World Market. So that's where Brock found them. Uh, they, uh, there's five different flavors. There's a holiday blend, and I'll describe each one of them to you on, uh, at the time that I'm trying them. So we have a holiday blend, a red velvet, a holiday eggnog, chocolate peppermint, and fireside rum. And today I'm gonna try the red velvet. Uh, and the red velvet says, it's, uh, it's ground coffee of course, it is a medium body blend with the nostalgic flavor of red velvet cake. So, I didn't know, I got my scissors out. I didn't know exactly how I wanted it. Oh gosh, that smells really good. Oh, that smells, it smells like a coffee uh, with, uh, but not strong coffee, with uh, some chocolate in it, which red velvet is chocolate. So, this is, um, if you've never seen me do coffee reviews, I use a one eighth cup and I fill my uh, water up to probably, uh, it's about six, so that it'll give me two cups of coffee. Now, this cup is so big <laughs> that I'm not going to fill it up all the way. Uh, there's there's no, no way I would fill this up all the way. Um, I'll probably fill it, I'll probably fill it three-fourths the way, and I've already put my sugar in it. I put uh, three packets of sugar, but I'm going to try not to use any creamer at all uh, because uh, that will tell me if this is a good coffee or not, really. If I don't have to use creamer, then it will, it's not if it's a good coffee, it's can the flavor, is the flavor powerful enough to where it doesn't need any creamer? It doesn't need the aid of anything else. Can the coffee stand alone? And for me, it's, that's a good thing when the coffee can stand on its own because creamer has a lot of calories in it. It adds up unless you are me measuring exactly. You would be shocked because you're thinking, oh, I only use two little teaspoons. No, you have to measure those or the calories. It's just, it's a total bummer if you start measuring. Don't measure, <laughs> don't start because then you'll know the truth. Anyway, um, so this smells awesome. I really uh, like the, the uh, smell of it. I hope that that chocolate flavor comes through as strong in the, the taste as it does in the smell. So I'm just gonna let this brew and uh, I'll be back. This smells um, incredibly sweet because I have my sugar packets in it. I use um, like Splenda, but I use the Walmart brand. Oh, that's very nice. If I didn't know better, I would swear they had put a little bit of a, a hazelnut in there. Um, and I'm sure that's not what they're wanting to give off with this flavor at all because red velvet is just typically, it's just chocolate and it has a red, they use red food coloring. Uh, but this has a, a chocolate hazelnut flavor, it really does. And that's a very nice cup of coffee. You you do not need any creamer at all with that. I can't imagine drinking that without sugar, but I like my sugar. So I'm not used to drinking black coffee. If you like black coffee, then you would probably really enjoy this. Um, but I like that. I have no idea how much uh, these cost Brock, uh, but this one is, uh, this is a good one, the Red Velvet. I'm glad I started out with this one too, uh, because 
I don't know. I just, I wanted to start out with what I thought would be a milder flavor and then kind of work my way up. I don't know. The holiday blend, I'm not quite, it says, um, it just sounds like regular coffee, the, the holiday blend. So I might try it next. Um, the fireside rum, I'm holding off, um, I'm holding off on that one till last. The chocolate peppermint will probably be um, close to the end. That holiday eggnog, I'm excited about all of these. I mean, I was even excited about the red velvet, but I just figured out of all of these, that would be the mildest flavor. But you know what, honestly, uh, it might beat some of these other ones because it does have a lot of flavor in it. Just know that to me, I mean, I might be crazy. If you've tried this, you can tell me if you think, tell me your nuts, it just tastes like uh, coffee and chocolate. Uh, but to me, it has a hint of hazelnut, which I absolutely love. Not too much. I mean, it's not like overpowering, like this is a hazelnut flavor, flavored coffee, but it's it's there. It's there just, just enough to let you know that it's there with the chocolate. So for me, this one's a winner and um, just stay tuned. Well, today I'm gonna review the uh, Holiday Blend. I think that's the one I said yesterday I was gonna review. Um, it is a dark, rich, slightly smoky blend of aged Sumatra or Arabica beans, perfectly roasted. So, I don't know what all of that means. <laughs> so we're just gonna smell it. Mmm. And it, uh, it smells earthy. It smells, um, uh, it smells like your, your typical coffee, but it also, sorry, I have the washing machine on and I forgot to close the door. So when we come back, I'll have the door closed, um, so that you can hear me. <laughs> but, um, to me, it just smells earthy and it smells, um, uh, Kevin's getting the door for me. It smells like coffee, but it also smells earthy, like a like a, a deep, dark smell. And that's not bad. That's not a bad thing with coffee, in my opinion, because I've had some really good coffees that have that um, earthy smell to them. So I'm going to let this brew, and then I'll be right back. I kind of have no idea what to expect. Uh, just because the smell of this coffee is just like, it's just like regular coffee. It's uh, the smell in the room, you would think, you wouldn't think that it was any kind of like special blend. Uh, you would just think, oh, Tammy's made coffee. just because I put my sweetener in it because I know I'm never going to like it black. That's just me. But it doesn't have anything, to me, spectacular going on to say, oh, this is like a, a Christmas one, you know? I mean, it's good coffee, but... it's. I would honestly, for this one... Um, I would rather have my regular Maxwell House coffee than have this blend. Like I said, there's there's just nothing there's nothing bad about it. It's just regular coffee. But weighing regular this regular coffee to Maxwell House, I would rather have Maxwell House. Um, so they uh, they packaged it. I love the packaging. I love the picture on the package. I know that means nothing to you. If you're wanting to get like a regular type coffee for someone to put in their stocking, this would be the one to choose, the holiday blend. Uh, because it's not gonna be, if you have somebody that's fussy in your family that doesn't like any special flavors in their coffee, then I think this would be the one that they would like. And I do think the size of these, um, these would make great stocking stuffers. They they really, really would. I like these a lot. So so. Good coffee, but just nothing special going on with it. Doesn't mean that I don't like it. It's just that 
it's not one like if you're trying to choose ones that you definitely need to get this year that one you could leave on the table so i will see you again tomorrow Today, I'm going to be trying the Holiday Eggnog, and I'm really excited about this because I love eggnog. It says it is creamy eggnog flavor with spicy notes of a nutmeg and cinnamon. Hmm. You, it smells, it just smells really sweet, honestly. I don't get a, a smell of uh, nutmeg or cinnamon, <laughs> to be completely honest. It just, uh, it just smells like really, really sweet coffee. Yeah, just sweet coffee. So I'm going to get this on to brew, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Well, that was brewing, and I took some time to do the dishes, as you'll see behind me. So kind of got some work done and used the time well. This, the smell of this to me, it just, uh, it just it smells like regular coffee, honestly. Right now it does. but it does not taste like regular coffee. It's very, very light on the flavor. Um, the eggnog, I guess I can see where they were going with it. I don't think they were very successful with it, to be completely honest. Um, um, and, you know, I always have to be completely honest with you all because I don't want you to buy this and think that you're going to get eggnog. I, I personally don't get eggnog. If you like gave me this cup of coffee and said, what do you taste in that? Um, it would be, I would never come up with eggnog. Never. You do get, you do get some of that, the nutmeg, but I don't get any of the cinnamon at all, really. The, if there is cinnamon in there, it is completely lost. Um, and I usually pick up on cinnamon. Uh, cinnamon's one of those easy, easy spices to, to pick up on. And uh, I, just, I just don't get it at all. Um, so, is it a good cup of coffee? Yes, it's a good cup of coffee. But does it taste like eggnog? In my opinion, no. This does not taste like eggnog. So... Still drink it, still use the coffee, just not as an eggnog coffee. So I'll be back tomorrow to try the chocolate peppermint. Today I'm going to be trying the chocolate peppermint coffee. And I'm expecting to get a uh, peppermint smell from this. And I really don't. <laughs> You would think having, um, with the name peppermint, you would smell, smell a little bit of peppermint. Peppermint, um, is strong. So, I'm going to smell it one more time. No, I just don't smell the peppermint. It's okay. I'm going to let this brew, and I'll be back, and we'll see if we can taste peppermint. I just realized that I did not read you all the description. Really, I didn't need to anyway. It just says a festive holiday mix of peppermint and chocolate flavors. And these are di distributed by cost, sorry. My coffee's ready after I have it in my cup. <laughs> um, it's distributed by Cost Plus Inc. Uh, Alameda, California, A-L-A-M-E-D-A. -A -E I don't know if I pronounced that right or not. So, chocolate peppermint. Is it gonna taste like chocolate or peppermint? It still does not smell, you would not know that this was any different coffee, that this was flavored at all by the aroma. And it just, 
It tastes, I've said this about so many of these and I know it just sounds weird. It's, it tastes like sweet coffee because I have my sweetener in there. So that's added the sweetness to it. But it just, um, it's not even a strong coffee. It does not taste like chocolate. There's no chocolate flavor. There's no peppermint flavor at all. If they put peppermint in it, I don't know where they put it. Um, it's not bad coffee, like I said, but they're selling this as chocolate peppermint. And if you're buying that, uh, wanting those flavors, you're not gonna get it from this coffee. Um, you know, it's good coffee, I will drink it, but I'll drink it knowing, oh, I can take that out of the cabinet and make it, and it's just gonna be regular coffee. I'm not gonna have any expectations of it at all. Uh, so, I'm sorry. I really am. I'm very, I mean, it's, it, like I said, it's good coffee. It's, it's not strong though. It's not as strong, it's not as strong like, like normally I drink like Maxwell House Master Blend. It's not that kind of coffee. It's not a, a wake you up in the morning kind of coffee. It's just um, like if you wanted like a midday cup of coffee, this would be your, your coffee. So, hopefully I've saved the best for last. Fireside Rum, I will be trying that in the morning. Well, today I'm going to be trying the last flavor of uh, the World Market coffees. This is the Fireside Rum. It is a smooth and buttery indulgence with the warming flavors of rum and cinnamon. So, I'm not expecting much cinnamon because of the last one I tried. It was supposed to have a lot of cinnamon. Uh, not the last one I tried. The Holiday Eggnog was supposed to have cinnamon. And uh, it didn't have much, but maybe this will. Maybe it will. Hmm. It smells really good. Yeah, that is it. it you know what? I've said this. I, I feel like I've said this five times. I've said this about every single flavor that I've tried. It smells sweet. And I've, I'm sure I've said that they all were sweet. They've been just a naturally uh, sweet coffee, which is surprising because they've been sweet, but none of them have been like really on point with what they said they were, but they've been sweet. So I'm gonna let this brew and I'll be back. It's finished brewing. It hasn't beeped at me yet, but it's going to, the coffee pot. But it just, it smells like uh, your typical coffee. Now this one is not as sweet as some of the others have been. I do get where uh, they're going with the rum flavor though. This one is, uh, it is different than the ones I've, I've tried previously. And I do get, I do get where they're going with the buttery rum. Uh, I still don't get the cinnamon at all. I really don't. Um, if they're putting cinnamon in these coffees, then it's lost on me. And, and like I've said before, I'm normally one to pick right up on the cinnamon first thing, but not in these, it, it's completely hidden. That said, I like that. It's a pleasant cup of coffee. It's not strong at all. It's not one that would, it's not powerful. Um, it's not a punch in the face kind of coffee, you know? It's just a nice, pleasant cup of coffee. Um, that would probably, Hmm, that would probably be my second place uh, because I think I would choose the red velvet first and then the fireside rum and then the holiday blend is just, honestly, most of them are just your typical coffees. So the last three, you could go with any of the three, the holiday blend or the holiday eggnog or the chocolate peppermint. I wouldn't buy any of those again because they are just so typical. Um, I would, if I were to choose between the five, I would choose the Fireside Rum or the Red Velvet. 
just, they were just, they stood out to me. So, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm not the best, I know, at describing um, the coffee, but I do try my best and I try to be honest with you all because I don't want you to buy it and have certain expectations and then it not meet your expectation. Um, and just know, the Fireside Rum, it's not a, it's just not a stronger coffee. I don't want you to get it and think, oh, you're really going to taste uh, rum and, and cinnamon, it's going to be strong. It's not like that. It still is a very, very mild cup of coffee. But it was all good. So, Brock, don't think you wasted your money because you did not. Um, I love it that you bought these for me at World Market. I love it that, that I've had the opportunity to try them once. And each one of these bags will make me two more pots of coffee. So, I'll get two more fireside rum, two more. So, I mean, 10. I, I should have been able to count that on my own, huh? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Very simple math. Um, I'll be able to get ten more pots of, of coffee out of these that you gave me. So, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope that everyone else enjoyed getting to hear about these. I know a lot of you all have easier access to a world market than I do. I've never been just because it, you know, it's such a drive for us. And... Um, it's not fun traffic either, and so I think that's why Kevin just hasn't wanted to go. He's been avoiding it for a long time. So, maybe I'll get to go before too long, though. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.